kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at mealtimes. Infirmary. Justice endures even in suffering. Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point. Open hand temple. Well, maybe... Maybe there's some clown parts in here, I guess. It's worth a look around, at least. Hi. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Why are you packing up your kitchen? Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Lorgan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Can you think of anyone that would have wanted to kill him? Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least, I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. Great, so now we've got two different murder conspiracies to figure out. One with the dead clown, one with the dead monk. Journal updated, help the cursed monk. Oh shit. We should look for the spirit's granddaughter, Shira Clarwin. Look, Investigator, Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. You're not a very good detective, because I guarantee Shitey you're wrong. little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill mater. <sighs> I know how annoying planar beings can be, especially ones from Celestia. Thank you. I wouldn't normally speak so harshly, but these are rather unique circumstances. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Lorgan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. If you think the investigator did a shoddy job, I can look into it. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Any idea what I should be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Where can I find the investigator? Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's a usual haunt after closing a case. Can you tell me where to find Shira Clarwin? I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year. Peacefully, mine. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. I, I really see. hope you find something. For all our sakes. Alright, so we'll have to go below the temple for the Shira thing. Hell, probably for most things. Ooh, look at this lovely public bath. Mmm. Hot water. We let more outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelmay, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out?
Well, I heard your priest died. My condolences. Thank you, stranger. Father Lorgan's passing has saddened us all. Passing? He was murdered by one of the fugitives he was harboring. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Sounds like your god would be proud of Father Lorgan. Thank you, stranger. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Shadowheart is inspired. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. What happened? I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Then why did you start the conversation if you didn't want to talk? I swear it. The priests will open the temple up again. You'll see. They're good people. Holy people. Alright, so we've got two murder mysteries on our hands. One... Featuring the clown, and one featuring the previous father of this temple, who is now dead. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. Who's in the infirmary? What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. I'm looking into Lorgan's death. I need to ask some questions. What do you want to know? How did he die? Slowly. Lorgan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Lorgan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Hmm. Well, I think we should ask the man himself. Exactly what happened. Nice that they've got his corpse here. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who killed you? Dwarf, dressed in red. Where were you attacked? Tunnels from the cellar. Refuge. The cellar, huh? How did you die? A poison blade. Paralysis. Why did he kill you? What were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgor from fists. Where did you hide him? Took him to the tunnel with the rest. Oh, fool, fool. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. You know, you would think that an investigator into murder would have tried to speak with Dead Spell to get some info. I guess they're not very good at their job, are they? Fucking elephants. Elephant, more like irrelevant. Got him. All right, time to go down. 
What am I to do? Go ahead and cast Guidance on yourself. Hysterion, you go ahead and cast Guidance on myself. Okay, Asterion, fine. You cast Guidance on Shadowheart then. That progress. What path lies before me? Let's find the crime scene. Rights for the passing. There will come many a time, O oh worshipful tormented, that you will have to comfort a faithless unfortunate as they pass from this life to the next. Or perhaps, even more distastefully, you may be faced with the dying acolyte of a wretched god, keen to shirk the blasted afterlife awaiting them. The Lord on the rack grants us a great many powers, but altering the, mortal, the moral velocity of a soul is one we cannot shift on the deathbed. If one has lived a life of sin, their soul is bound for a sinful place, no matter their final protestations. However, it would do much more harm than good to tell them this. Ill Mater does not forbid the speaking of untruth, no matter how polite society deems the act. If it would spare the dying wretch some suffering as they pass, tell them that the weeping god awaits them with his balming embrace. Make them believe. Whatever torment their, so be their soul bears in the realms beyond, it remembers not their body, so spare them at least the final passing moment from hardship. On the Weary, Volume 1, Father Lorgan. A collection of Father Lorgan's writings on despondency. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ail is that which dulls but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its miring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart, if left to fester, at least, but must be extricated carefully. Above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. Plea of Rest. A hastily scrawled and slightly damp Plea of Rest requested to be freed of ill Mater's service for the duration of a ten-day, as the writer mourns Father Lorgan. Sheet music. An elegic fug in the key of D minor entitled Ode to the Oppressed. That's the crypt. Miracles of the Outer City. Be cautious. And a trap on the display case. DC 20. Ooh, that's a toughie. However, all we need is at least an 11 to 100%. Guarantee it. That was far from an 11. That was about the opposite of 11. Inspiration die, go! Guidance roll! Oh, the guidance roll is enough! Alright, sick. Now let's take a look inside. Failure noise. Try another thieves' tools use. Failure noise. Oh, come on. Success noise. Hey. And in the display case, an elixir of psychic resistance. Scroll of dominate person. Why is that here? I 
chance to read our new books, The Would-Be Saint. Herein is the full of true account of my bid to be canonized after my death as Saint Brigid, uh, Brigid of Ilmater, the broken god. He of compassion and mercy, the one who endures. I, live a blessed, I lived a blessed life of every privilege a patriarch woman can fathom. My parents were loving and generous, my community warm, our larder was always full to bursting. But in the years after the death of Saravak, my eyes were opened to the world as it is. A world of pain and danger. A world where evil, if left unchecked, can thrive. I realized that my blessings had a cost. Why had I so much when others had so little? I could no longer remain in the gilded Elysium of the Upper City and sought to see the world as it truly was. Teachings of Illmater. Okay, just a bunch of nothing. Miracles of the Outer City. Record of alleged miraculous phenomena in the outskirts of Baldur's Gate attributed to Ilmater. Customer of Gildro uh, Angleron reckons he healed up mighty quick from painful forge burn. Asked if Ilmater had something to do with the irksome talkative gent outside Carmen's, powerful agent of suffering. Soup, still showing up at refugee camp even after Temple closed kitchen. Curious. Man's hands tied together in horse reins claims he's a holy symbol. <laughs> Minip Nestor reports feeling close to his duty since relocation to refugee camp. I can see that there's obviously some stuff back here that we want to get to. All right, now, where's the secrets? Where's the secret passageway? Do I need to jump up there or something? I mean, I can just fly up there. Oh, the perception was over here. Button. Is the one on the other side too? Looks like it. That might be worth a look. Button. Man, like I said, that uh, that detective elephant didn't do a very good job. Now, did they? Look at all that they missed. Be patient, child. Soon. These are doppelgangers. Yeah, they are. Tell by the names. Ah, here we go. Afford 
many mistakes. All right, well, she's in now. Let's have some fun. Morphic ambush. Ow. Well, well. Look what we have here. Oh, nice critical. This is worth the cost. The bonk hammer says bonk. Concentrate. Mm. Oh, nice damage, actually. Easy peasy. Flowery key. This key spired with blood is inscribed with the address of Frego's flop house and Worms Crossing. <clears throat> Aspirin Dolor is talented, if a touch careless. The dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere, though I know not where. I can smell it. The fear musk from his kills stands in the air after the act because he lets them marinate first. They stand, lie, sit, stock still as the poison fills their limbs with lead, knowing only two perfect facts. They are going to die. There is nothing they can do about it. One of the doppelganger's assassin underneath them had a strange flowery key. We should find what it opens. We should find a way forward. Someone was arranging these corpses. What for? Clown severed torso. Hey, why was this sit down here? Torso torn and butchered. Hello, dribbles. The effigy of Ilicera, who watched and waited. What use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool, or in the red. Ah, that's why they're all butchered so heavily. It's 
So we can either go up and follow the blood, or we can go down. Well, when in doubt, follow the blood. That's always the answer. The blood never lies. Orim, please, with a knife. Looks like these people were trying to hide in the tunnels here. Didn't work. Dear Mrs. Priest, the letter is written in the careful but erratic hand of a newly learned writer. Mum says I need to say thank you more, so thank you. Thank you for telling off that nasty woman who was shouting all those nasty things at me. That's three times I've wrote thank you, now four, so I think Mum will be happy. One more thing, did you see my teddy anywhere? I think it dropped it during all the shouting. Spicy sausage links, yummy. Request for alms. Please, Father Lorgan, Rector Giannis, if you've any food to spare, our stomachs yowl at night like kicked dogs. Carrots, apples, we'll even crunch an onion if that's what you've got. Yours, Tholdra Tholdren. Well, let's see if speaking to the dead works for any of these. The corpse has nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and say the corpse will have nothing to say on all three, but the corpse had. The corpse does. Okay, it was worth a try. Maybe I should try speaking to dead with the corpse that had the freaking clown torso on it. Why were you carrying the clown torso? I was not expecting to find a clown body piece down here, but here we are. So it seems the murders coincide with each other because doppelgangers. That's our current common piece between the two. Oh, there's a cloud kill going on here. Can't afford to stay idle. That doesn't get rid of the cloud kill. It's a slight issue. Well, actually not so much of an issue because that seems to go nowhere. Still breathing, despite everything. Therefore, everyone, let's get out of there. Back over here. You know, I wonder, can you speak the dead on these? Oh. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Did you kill Father Lorgan? No. Dolor did. Splendid. Kill. Where is Dolor now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Who do you work for? We. We. The corpse tries to speak, but something prevents it. See. I found this flowery key. What's it for? Flop house. Dolor's secret.
Uh, who is Dolor? Ah, blood red dwarf. Tricky. Hungry. The spell's See. power. How about we try the other one? The corpse has. Hmm. What's that? The corpse doesn't. Okay. A hole. Within. Stillmaker. Very rare. Dagger. Gives you the hold person enchantment. Actually, if anything, maybe I should have just given that to Asterion over this crappy dagger plus one. In fact, let's go grab it and give it to Asterion. Letter from Arabella. Oh, wait, hold on. Duh, this is the murder weapon. I should keep it just for that. Letter from Arabella. Hey you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. And for another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another, another, you found out what happened to moms and pops. I'm on my own now, and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. And as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate, so I'm heading there. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. Arabella. Gather your allies. Okay. Yeah, that dagger's like 100% the murder weapon. It's also going to be Asterion's new weapon, more than likely. His new melee weapon for... Any time that he's put in melee position. The only position chat needs to put in is face down position. Lightening my load little bits at a time. Actually, honestly, I don't think I need to carry these anymore at all. Since I'm changing my build. Why is this fucking admission pass so heavy? This pass grants access for bearer and entourage to Worms Rock Audience Hall for the ceremony of Lord Gortash's elevation to Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Alright, the clown pieces are heavy. They're going to the camp for now. Camp supplies. Let's, there we go. That'll lighten our load.
Investigate Frago's flop house and find a use for the flower key. Oh, free Orpheus. Get Cortash as another stone of fiery friend. Where are we even? Another quake. What's going on? Who's casting the quake spell? It's the Elder Brain. There's something happening to it. I see. Look, the Elder Brain can wait. I'm putting my Sherlock cap on. And we are solving a murder most foul. A murder. There's all good stuff in that. Something I gotta say, these dirt mounds don't tend to have anything super valuable in the chests that you dig up, but, you know, every little bit is nice. How do you get over to them if you can't walk through here? Interesting. Seagulls. It's like it comes up behind there. Um, well, we need to go to Frego's flop house more than anything, I guess, right now. Also, take a look. Bloody footsteps come out of the cave, and then stop here. No more blood after that. So the trail goes cold. Okay, I guess we can uh, continue the Cursed Monk quest while we're in the area. While we're in the neighborhood. I am going to need to uh, go to camp and grab the, the necklace, though. Jahira. So Bell's chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. 
Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. You seem to have experience with doppelgangers. Ah. This all begins to ring a little too familiar for my liking. Mm hmm. hmm. Little the Balder last quest to. Doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin. He's more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. Uh, I believe we've asked those before. Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born for Here lies Sister Shira Clarwen, date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. Here it is. Tomb of the Amulet Spirit's granddaughter. Time for a family reunion. Now, I believe I can talk to the sentient spirit. Thou shalt return to me! <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing! I'm afraid your granddaughter has passed away. coming on. Spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh! <laughs> Shall it be thou? What are the consequences of accepting this? I would say it's probably nothing good for us to accept this. Matt 20! I know everything about what's gonna happen if I accept this. Yay! The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Uh, I mean, what's this going to give me? It's just going to give me Tasha's hideous laughter, that's all? That's... Unless it gave me more, that's not worth it. <laughs> that's really not worth it. Especially if it could lower my wisdom score. Or possibly give me disadvantage on wisdom saves.
This seems like a bad choice. I'm going to say no and hope that this wouldn't give me anything more than Tasha's hideous laughter. If it would give me any more than that, then oh well. But, uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. I am surprised. Let there be rage. Ooh, nice crit. I'm sorry, is that not at zero HP there? What a gentle little poke. Tink, tink. Darn, I was really hoping you wouldn't attack a stereo. Okay, so that that's just a bug with that one standing back up. That's just an oopsie. <clears throat> Wait, did that not end the quest? Yeah, it looks like this doesn't do anything anymore. Sapient amulet. No longer magical. Best be on my way. Maybe the quest itself bugged out. Don't know. I did bring the spirit of the amulet to Shira game. 
What, did you bug out? Here lies Reloric Windbane. Here lies Sister Shira Clarwen. Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. Well, whatever. Guess it bugged. Oh, is that Frago's flop house over there? Okay, then. Oh, and that must be the Charessa's caress. Hopefully we won't be seeing too many bugs, and that'll be a rare thing to see. Murder? Hottest topic in Rivington. Apart from the March of the Absolute's Army, I suppose. Got today's edition of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette right here. You want one? Another time, perhaps. Stellmane is dead. Headline. This does not bode well. Lens, the journalist. Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? Sure. Why is security so tight? There was a skirmish a few days back. A band of absolutists came close to entering the city. People started panicking, so the gate got closed. My editor at the Boulder's Mouth Gazette sent me down to get a first-hand account of the chaos. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay, whether or not that's the truth or not. thought journalists were supposed to be impartial. We are. And I am. It's my editor who seems to have forgotten. Mr. Needle's gotten pally with that Lord Gortash. Suddenly can't sing his praises highly enough. Seems like everything we write needs Gortash's approval. Can't recognize my own work by the time they're done editing. Sounds like you're printing Gortash's propaganda, then. Doesn't it just... Of course, we're off the record and this conversation never happened. Of course. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some edits to make. Okay, that's good info. South Span Checkpoint. I heard he's a good man. Let Outrage. us talk to him. Outrage. Please, if you could just... We can't get in. I... I have family here. They said we'd be welcome. Imperial. Heartless bastards. If they just listen. That'll make a great headline. Only chat would listen. The heartless bastards that they are. Damned outsiders. Swarm in the place. What a bitch. Citizens only. I won't say it again. Take it somewhere else. My hands are full. Outraged. Frame of passion. Deeper conspiracy. I should be able to walk right in. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I'm not a refugee. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Oh, I see. You want a bribe. I wonder what the warlock option is. Oh, I have help from the other side if I ever need support. I'm afraid Article 30.1.7 stipulates that religious or spiritual assertions cannot count towards one's proof of self-sufficiency. I will repeat, 
For the last time, may I add, do you have means to support yourself? Sure. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. Thorlock. Well met, citizen. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. Can I go now? Not just yet. State your business. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate is my city, my home. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. Uh huh. Behind the Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly. Or die. Hmm. Hold on, trade? Oh, okay. My son. He's only a boy. You must understand. Sir, sir! We can't let you in. I... I thought we'd be safe in the gate. I heard the stories. Well, all you want. We've got enough mouths to feed. We don't need your kind. Our... Our kind? Refugees. Outsiders. Enough, Ketzo. Sir, you need to stay clear. Do I consent to a rest or not? Ravenguard, I think. I heard he's a good man. Let us talk to him. Please, if you could just... We have the Duke's full support. For the good of the people. Our people. Our people. <laughs> What happened to my face? Oh, you know, we're, we're just doing our black metal career. Death metal career. Fine, arrest Your me. Your peaceful this surrender has been noted. Say it again. But we you will be lives. transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. Out of curiosity. Locked up in Worms.